This is Adjusted TV. This is your brain on Adjusted TV. Any questions? In this video, I'm gonna give you two huge reasons to be very careful about what you say and how you treat other people on social media, starting now. This is Adjuster TV. Hey, it's Matt here with Adjuster TV, and for the best tips and tools for getting on the first call list as a cat property independent adjuster, subscribe now. Click on the bell notification and you'll be on your way. And here's a question from YouTube from Cameron. Cameron says, I'm a single dad with full custody of my son. Can I make a living doing daily claims without ever doing cat deployments? And thanks for your question, Cameron. Many adjusters make a great living doing daily. If you just let your IA firms know that you want to do daily, they'll let you know what, if anything, they have in your area. Generally speaking with daily, you'll have to work for more than one IA firm to stay busy, unlike CAT, where you only want to work one company at a time. Most importantly, let them know that you're not interested in doing any CAT. And this will tell them that if a big hurricane or hailstorm hits, you'll probably stay behind while everybody else runs off to the storm. And this benefits you because you'll likely end up with more work than you could possibly handle. Even though you're not interested in doing CAT, there's a good chance that you can still work cat claims if a storm hits where you live or a nearby area. Either way, you can be pretty busy doing daily. Okay, we've all seen it. The newbie posts up a basic question on Facebook and they get skewered by a pack of trolls who shred them for even thinking a newbie thought. So what's wrong with all of that? We've still got freedom of speech in America, and if a person wants to say how much they hate this or that thing or group, who cares, right? I may not agree with their views, but the First Amendment is one of our most cherished privileges in this country. Plus, I can unfriend them or hide them from my feed. Well, insurance companies might care, or IA firms, or even a PA or an attorney. It recently came to my attention from several different people that some IA firms were watching social media. I was told that if they saw somebody being a jerk to a newbie in a Facebook group that they would immediately check and see if that rude person was on their roster and then take measures from there. In some cases going as far as kicking that person off of their roster. Now it could be argued that I'm not doing our industry any good by saying this or doing this video. After all, if a person is going to be a jerk to a new adjuster or somebody interested in this business, how are they going to treat an insured? We should let those rude know-it-alls hang themselves with their own words, right? Well, I thought long and hard about doing this video for that reason. In the end, I feel that it's more of a benefit if I get this message out than if I don't say anything. Besides, most of the people who troll in social media probably don't watch my videos. And even if they do, maybe they'll see that they can't just sucker punch people through a computer from the safety of their mom's basement and get away with it for very long. That what they do online can have real consequences, not the least of which is getting blackballed from a roster or multiple rosters. And this doesn't just go for being a jerk in the comments. If a public adjuster or attorney sees your activity online, they may be able to use it against you in court. I was told a story about an adjuster who posted a photo of a beer next to his laptop while working on claims probably years prior. One of his claims went to court and the PA searched the adjuster's social media feed and found that pic and then had a big Perry Mason moment of showing how the adjuster was drinking when he wrote the estimate, which the adjuster denied up until the photo was revealed from his social media feed. Yes! Yes, I, killed Matt I mean, listen, here's the deal. The biggest part of our job as claims adjusters is customer service. That requires us to have empathy and to treat people with dignity and respect and not just our customers. I have seen adjusters standing in an insured's front yard giving them their opinion about everything that pops into their mind, telling them that their previous adjuster was an idiot for not seeing X or Y. I've seen them arguing with the roofer and correcting everything everybody says because, hey, they're the expert on adjustering and everybody needs to know how great they think they are. That person is a troll and IA firms don't want that guy representing them in the field and neither do carriers. How do you know if you're a troll? Number one, you're a troll if you've nominated yourself chief of the grammar police. If a newbie posts something and you understood what they said, then that post was a success. Even if everything was misspelled and they used there instead of there. In case you didn't know, humans made up language so we could communicate with each other, not so we could show each other how much we know arbitrary rules better than somebody else. And grammar and spelling are sets of arbitrary rules. Number two, you think honesty is the best policy. You feel compelled to share your opinion with people 
even if it's going to hurt their feelings or cause controversy because, hey, I'm just being honest and honesty is the best policy, right? Wrong. By this standard, if I walk into a person's house and I don't like their home decor, I have every right to say, your home decor is garbage. Have you thought about remodeling? Hey, I'm just being honest. Does that have anything to do with closing that claim? Does it? No. Therefore, honesty is not the best policy. Closing that claim is the best policy. And anything that doesn't contribute to that is going to make that harder for you. Or, actually, yes, those pants do make your butt look pretty big, honey. But I love your big butt. Hey, I'm just being honest. Think about it. What's the best outcome here? that your wife should appreciate that you're an honest guy? Is that really what we're hoping to achieve here? I'll let you work that one out. In short, don't lie, but also don't think that you have to always speak your mind in an inappropriate spirit of total honesty. And finally, number three, you think it's okay to build yourself up by tearing somebody else down. For example, anybody who doesn't know what TPO is shouldn't be an adjuster. Anybody who doesn't have their insert special certification here shouldn't be allowed to touch a claim. When you say that, we can only assume that you know what a TPO roofing system is or that you have that super special certification, which means that you're trying to make yourself look better by disqualifying those who don't have that knowledge. And what you're telling me, and everybody else is that you're insecure and never learned that fundamental thing about yourself, nor are you capable of seeing things from outside of your own perspective, which is a critical customer service skill in our industry. I have a zero tolerance rule for trolls in my Facebook group. If a person posts a basic newbie question and somebody is rude to them in the comments, I kick that rude commenter out of the group. The group is here to help new people, not for you to tell everybody how great you think you are by being a rude jerk. And this rule is posted all over the place, so there's no excuse. You can't even get into my group without agreeing to be respectful of others. And believe it or not, I've only had to kick people a grand total of two times for being a troll in a year. I guess where there are rules, people play nice. So long story short, what you say and do on social media has consequences, in some cases pretty serious. Clean up your feed and delete photos and other posts that you wouldn't want your grandma to see. You know, if she's a normal grandma, not an outlaw biker. Question of the day, what are some stories you've heard about how social media can help or harm our careers? Let us know in the comments below where you're watching this video. For much more information about kicking off a career in cat property claims as an IA, head on over to adjusterTV.com. And if you got value from this video, you can help me create more videos like this by hitting the round subscribe button. Wondering what to watch next? Check out these videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great storm. So delicious.